I love the fade. Hey, folks, uh, it's Tuesday night. You know what that means? It's Between the Rolls, uh, Murder Hobo Inc. Stab at a talk show. Thanks for joining us. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to buy our stuff. None of us is wearing anything. Uh, it's somewhere on here, uh, the tiny URL link. Uh, if you want to chat with us, uh, try tinyurl.com and Hobo Inc. Discord. Uh, and then archive and something else. I mean, we get, we damn near have a corner on that market. Uh, <laughs> folks, we're going to do a uh, quick and eh, not so quick recap of the three games that we played this past week. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and discuss online gaming in that uh, maybe you want to try it, but you just aren't ready to dip your toe in or you kind of want to know more. Hopefully, we're going to give you some good advice on that tonight. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and meet the cast. Uh, we'll start uh, on my upper right. David, David, who are you and uh, what you got for us? Okay, I am David. And like I said, I'm on the Murder Hobo C team. Anyway, that sounds, that sounds B perverted. Minus, B minus. <laughs> B minus team. That's it. Uh yeah, so I, I've been playing uh, with the Murder Hobos for uh, a few Hi. weeks now, and it's been great. Um, so, yeah, um, also a writer. I do that writing D&D stuff, too. Yeah. So, uh, Next up is Vanna White. Vanna, tell us uh, who we are. Kyle, what are you doing? Well, I was just saying, because you know, it's a green bottle and everything like that. Yingling, you should know. Wait, no, it's that Pennsylvania. It's Pennsylvania. It's Never mind. Clear. I was going to say there was something good that came out of Massachusetts, but it's actually Pennsylvania, folks. Man, the socks. The here socks here are good. Oh, I didn't know. Whoa! Oh. The many wonders of online gaming. I'm Kyle, and I'll be talking to you about it tonight. But be honest, if you've been quarantined for 30 days, and haven't gone to online gaming, why are you watching the show? You're never going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> do it! Do it! Okay. Last but certainly not least, Carol. <laughs> Carol, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, everyone. I'm Carol. I am a miniature painter, longtime gamer, and finally a GM on Murder Hobo Wink. Woo! Woo! Uh, <clears throat> yeah, and here... <laughs> Talk about what online gaming? What we're talking about World of Warcraft? Talk, we probably talking about oh, not that kind of online gaming. This not, kind of online gaming. So, that looking forward good. to this topic. This uh, this is going to be. I'm going to enjoy this one. Uh, well, hopefully we'll get it all covered. Carol also had a good idea on uh, another topic that we're going to cover. Uh, also online gaming, just a different venue. But uh, we'll see how this one pans out. Now uh, we might even bring her opinion in. Uh, because, you know, we rarely uh, talk about all of it. Uh, first and foremost, if you want to see on this August panel or want to play in one of our games, hit us up. Uh, every one of these people you see here was new. Uh, some of us were less new than others. Uh, but if you want to see, we'd love to have you. Trust us, you can't do any worse than us. I mean... You're Edwin Larry, uh, you know, there's a lot of, ah, Jesus, waste. Oh, <laughs> didn't even know the rules of the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, guidelines, rules, whatever. Uh, does, he, does he know them yet? Oh, she, uh, no. no. <laughs> uh, folks, we'll go ahead and get to uh, the recap. We played three different games since last we met it between the roles. We're going to go ahead and start off with David, who's going to give us a recap on episode 89 entitled Legendary Beginnings. David, take it away. All right. Well, it's the continuing adventures of Pi <coughs> Corona and Zadar, the gender fluid rogue. Uh, anyway, we started off in the city by the name of The Rock, right? Nice. The Rock. So. No relation to Dwayne Johnson. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we begin our adventure in a tavern. Uh, Maya and I are sitting at a bar, having our beverages, and suddenly these strange people with strange haircut just think of, um, oh, just 
yeah, really bad beetle haircuts. Anyway, uh, show up and they solicit solicit us at, for an adventure. Uh, basically, they tell us that um, they belong to a church, uh, that there was, uh, let's see, uh, I want to call it like just, what would you call it, Frank? What a did brigand. They, a brigand, yeah. That they were having a problem that the church had been robbed and uh, they would like us to capture this person, bring them back alive uh, to stand trial in front of the magistrate. So, of course, we take the job, and as we make our way through the city, we see that uh, at the city's lending house, there's about to be a riot to break out. All the lenders are uh, standing with guards in front of them, trying to push back the crowd. I am wittingly trying to get the attention of one of them, and that didn't go well. Uh, my uh, got robbed by an orphan, or at least, and then she ended up catching up to it and roughing the orphan up. <laughs> so, causing my Corona, man, she's mean. Uh, you know, catching catching the attention of the city watch, and uh, I catch the attention of some thug that works for the lending house. Anyway, we talk to them. Uh, get an idea of what's going on. They say the brigand had robbed from uh, them also. Uh, <coughs> so I tell them we can bring them in, you know, if they want to kick in uh, to, to up the reward a little bit. So, extortion. <laughs> extortion. <laughs> so anyway, we take the job. Uh, as we're walking through the market, the orphan is trying to Rob the local cheese merchant, and you know how my, my loves cheese. Anyway, anyway, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? He's oh. doing magic, Carol. Oh. oh, golden eggs, but you can't see them because of the lighting. The <laughs> magic. So anyway, the orphan is tries to steal the cheese. I ended up trying to pilfer uh, the cheese back from the orphan, and she, yeah, quickly. You touched her to inappropriately, I believe, was the claim. Nah, yeah, that was the claim. So anyway, uh, my steps up, kind of does like uh, vouch for my character and all that, says the little girl was stealing. Uh, anyway, decided to let her go. <laughs> We catch up with her because we have a feeling she knows where this brigand is. She tells us, she tells it where they usually hang out. It was in a seedy part of town with a really bad restaurant. <laughs> and anyway, we end up taking the little girl there to stake out the restaurant. And sure enough, the bad guys come in. But while we're waiting, we decide to have a little entree and the uh, the orphan decided to treat herself to the most expensive thing on the menu, which turned out to be desert oysters, which she did not like. Camel so, nuts. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, I try to get the attention of the the brigands, whatever lieutenant or whatever he's supposed to be. Anyway, I end up shifting form uh, to try to get their attention, and uh, yeah, I get because you are a changeling. I am a changeling, so I changed into a little girl that looks not like the little girl that 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 is with us, and then she's laughing her ass off because they tossed me out of the bar. Anyway, so I'll go back in looking like uh. Like <laughs> Tammy Faye Baker, uh, you know, <laughs> after her husband just got convicted. So anyway, uh, yeah, that didn't go over well. So finally, we just ended up um, trying to solicit the guy anyway for, for information. Didn't work. So we ended up walking out of the place. We get it. We get accosted by two, two members of another church. Uh, an encounter ensued. Uh, we ended up killing them and taking their symbol. Damn Mormons. So we confronted the, the guy that works for the brigand inside. So, and he says, oh, if you want to meet him, all you got to do is pay me 30 silver on Good Friday. And he would take me to see the brigand. So 
Maya and I follow this this man through town into the olive fields where this gentleman in white robes is standing there in sandals, just picking olives off the trees and eating them. The brigand's name was, I think if I got this right, was Mijo del Mustachio or something like that. I don't know. E- Ehoda, Ehoda. Ehoda Humana or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> it had several names. Emo, Mustachio. It, yeah. So while we're trying to uh, talk to him, we kind of get the feeling that things aren't all as they appear to be. So suddenly members of the church that hire, hire us, which somehow kind of seem like the Pharisees for some reason, show up and try to apprehend, uh, yeah, uh, Mr. Man. Anyway. <laughs> Son of man. Son of man. Anyway, they try to apprehend him by, and I defend him. Uh, we end up killing the guards. They end up uh, running away. There were, um, what, 12 of his people sleeping behind him. <laughs> You can keep uh, talking. And Ashley is never going to get this. She's never going to get it. But anyway, they wake up. He says, please, please. There was no need for this violence. Resurrects the, the dead guards. And uh, suddenly he's escorted away by his 12 followers. And that was the end of the story. Happy Easter, folks. So, Jesus Christ. That it was, was not. That sounded like a spoiler. <laughs> That's Jesus Crisp to you. Yeah. Right. Jeebus Crisp. Uh, did you have fun? We did. I mean, it was just just the three of us. And uh, yeah, just it was a good. the three of us. I mean, for hanging out on a Friday night playing D&D, I mean, it was great. We had a great time. Now, Maybe we'll... someday I'll get to go on one of those, but I hope no, see another no. game. <laughs> uh, now, will Zadar be uh, coming back on Thursday? Yes, Zadar. Zadar. Well, I mean, I've got some some other characters in in you know my stable of characters, but um, I think I'll bring Zadar back. I mean, you know, he's part of Cacophony now. <laughs> that's true, and that's where you're going. Mm-hmm. Uh, episode ninety, Battle Keep, part of the campaign. Uh, Houdini there, uh, who's eating, was uh, he, Carol, Blake, Chris, and Ernest uh, all participated after finding their way back together. It only took them an hour and ten minutes to fucking split the party. I would like to add that the person who complained the most about splitting the party was the only one in real danger when she herself Split herself from the party. Yep. I go, I, Got herself I, swallowed by a gelatinous. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no. I was still in the same room. <laughs> I just went to look at a door. That's all. You went into the kitchen by yourself. I didn't go. Checking the out room. the dining hall. No uh, uh, your friend, door. friend Dewey Docamel was like, hey, I'll follow you. And I will got follow her. by a gelatinous. I think it was the other, I think it was, who really split the party? I know Blake did, but I mean, yeah, no. Blake and I did as well. I opened the door to look in it. I wasn't actually going in the room. I got dragged in the room by the gelatinous cube. And in the room, opened up a cupboard door and was eaten by a gelatinous cube. No, so I I'm didn't. telling the story, Carol, not you. you so t- after our- Winners tell the story. By the gelatinous <laughs> cube. <laughs> Luckily, yeah. heroic Dewey was there to rescue her after oh, she what a- split the party. Oh, uh, you could have thunder waved your way out of that cube. I know you could have. <laughs> Not thunder wave. Uh, <laughs> Should have taken it. We went to the battle keep. We did a dungeon crawl and uh, are still not done with it. So you'll have nope. to wait three more weeks in order to see the conclusion of that. Yeah, I'll three. Wait, three weeks? Two, I, right? I don't know how the time works anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I've been inside with a couple of kids for so long. <laughs> Come on, Kyle. It's May the third. You should know what. <laughs> oh, Kyle. Thing, and you can't even get the right story straight anyway. So why would I'm I? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's the true story, 
and then there's her parents' story. Um, she's the hero of it. <laughs> uh, speaking of Taryn, uh, Carol took the hot seat for the first time on Murder Hobo Week, and Woo! I understand she got a solid three out of twenty uh, in her performance. But we'll let her tell you how great she was in. Episode, we'll not talk over her. <laughs> in episode ninety-one, <laughs> called Exchange, Carol, tell us about your time in the big seat. Well. No, I'm not going to say how great it was, because I'm quite sure there were mistakes and such that were made. Hey, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm not Kyle, okay? I don't sit here. Thank and try God. <laughs> but I will say this, I had an absolute blast running for Kyle, Blake, Heidi, and Scott. They were just so much fun. Their wow. characters were a ton of fun. Mm -hmm. um, I love Jody. I love Jody so much. Jody. Uh, hope you see him again because the, oh god, that's one of my favorite characters you played. That was, that, that was good. That was I really good. love Jody. I love your I love your big voice too. Um, and your voice did survive. That was good. I so, thought you sounded like Watto from Star Wars myself. You sound oh, like yeah. you. If you play Overwatch, you sound like one of the most beloved characters, man. Oh. Not Reinhardt! He sounds like Ryan. You're right. He sounds like Reinhardt. It's, it's supposed to be more Marcus from Borderlands, but, then but it, it was great. Over to Reinhardt, and then it ended with Eduardo from Froster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have no, I love Reinhardt, and I love Darren DePaul. So, you know. <laughs> I DePaul, she loves you. <laughs> anyways i digress so um to give you viewers out there a little bit because honestly if you didn't see it go back and watch it. it's still up on twitch and it'll, it's in our youtube archives so um basically what i had the pcs do was go out and escort a prisoner to be exchanged with one from this enemy kingdom there are two kingdoms in my world um and yes this game was run in my setting that i've been working on for Quite a bit, quite a while. Um, <coughs> but that's what it was. They had to escort him there, make sure he gets to the point, and and bring home their person. Well, it didn't go exactly the way I foresaw, but I think it actually went better than the way I had planned. So, you guys really told a great story. Uh, so they basically had a little random encounter with some wolves on the way there, and then they. Had a not so random encounter with some thugs that came into their camp at 2 a.m. trying to uh, make away with their spy, with their prisoner. Thug life, baby. Thug life. And then they did get to the they did get to the uh, meeting place and they did make the trade. There was a little bit of, uh, you know, I don't know. I said Blake. Blake was Blake had a rather interesting idea where. He was just trying to just, he made himself look like the prisoner, but then that he didn't want to go off with him. So then he changed back to himself and let him take him. Except for the fact, my gosh, you guys, I was so hoping you were going to ask them about the, uh, the, the attack the night before, because you had three of the, you had three of them alive. Be Imagine that, they didn't kill everybody. Who would have thought? Jody does not kill people. Jody is pacifist. Oh, who would have thought the murder hobos did not murder everything? It was amazing. So and, and they hit their objective in a lot of time. They, they more oh, than they objective. exceeded their objective. Thank you very much. Yes, they, they did. They, so so basically, all thanks to spooning and cuddling. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, watch the episode. It was friggin' hilarious. What was going on? With Jody, uh, I call him also called him Jody Bounty Hunter because he had, uh, he had what I remember he had fuzzy handcuffs and real. Oh, that Jody doesn't Jody make a bounty like, hunter, Carol. Check the sets of manacles draped over his body, one of them was a set of fancy handcuffs. So, um, but they, yes, yeah, so I was hoping, I said, I was so hoping you guys were going to ask about the net, the attack the night before. Because it's like, mm. I know that it's a third party, obviously. Yeah, but you guys. Wait for the spoilers, Carol. <laughs> you, are, you can figure that out. 
Too bad we don't have the the fan base crit- critical role was because the fan art would have been hilarious. Oh my god! I know. I really <laughs> wish. Yeah. I mean, you have Jody with with Grinnell as a backpack would have been amazing. And then the thing of it is, Grinnell actually decided. Letting everyone know, I'm looking for an artist to do a rendition of Jody. You will be required <laughs> to listen to this latest episode. And a previous one starting Jody before you start drawing him. Though. Was that the Trevor Project one? <laughs> you know, Frank did uh, send us the name of an artist if we wanted to get our characters done a while back. And apparently nobody else was interested other than me. I know I was interested. I just had no idea what was going on. <laughs> But yeah, it was all in all, it was a great episode. Seriously, watch it. It was it was it was a ton of fun to run. Check. Ton of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get stick figures if we have Frank draw it. I mean, you've seen our logo, so yeah, but there's no penis on there, so it's a Frank Thank original. You for making it classy, like an artist would. Thank you. I actually well, really honestly, I was going for the uh, more uh, French artiste, so I would have preferred both testicles and shaft. So you want him to be reclining on a thing with his hands like this? Recline. Imagine Burt Reynolds, but covered in <laughs> chains with a naked man covering his genitals. Hey, I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking Titanic. Today is the anniversary, or tonight into tomorrow, is the anniversary of the sinking of the Titanic, so appropriate. So that's that's a little bit of the rundown of what happened. Um, I said it was just a ton of fun to do. Oh, hold on. Pause it back to fun. Uh, you ever sure. heard the term, folks, rearranging furniture on the deck furniture on the Titanic? That's the show. That is the show. Uh, folks, all, uh, as Carol pointed out, all three shows are in the archive. That's tinyurl.com, Mohobo Inc. archive. Uh, you can view them at your leisure. You can even make comments. We had a couple of comments this week. Uh, we appreciate the feedback. That's awesome. Uh, and some of them are still on Twitch. Wait, uh, we feedback? What? Yes. We re- Thanks for paying attention to the YouTube channel, Carol. Not everything ar- revolves around Discord, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and folks, if you see a picture of me on Discord, that that is that was posted without permission. So. You're welcome. There's gonna be a lawsuit on that one. Um, that hundred percent accurate. <laughs> Hey, wait, I, by the way, for the record, I do watch when it's, uh, you know, like Monday or Tuesday and I'm catching up on episodes I didn't have time to watch when they were live. I always do go to YouTube, so I when just don't watch my own me incessantly. I just don't watch my own episodes. I just, too much. <clears throat> As opposed to Kyle, who likes to garner tips on whether or not he did well. And uh, I am just as guilty because I like to make sure that I didn't botch the story too bad. Uh, Because, and we're going to discuss this, folks, or actually, I'm going to have these three discuss it. Uh, Playing online is a lot different than sitting around a table with all your friends. Uh, We're going to go ahead and give you some pros and cons. Uh, Personally, I don't think there's anybody on this panel that's going to say, Eh, it's not worth your time. I, I think it is, uh, especially in isolation. If you want something fun to do, we offer seats. Uh, we got shows. Love you, Tom. We got shows. Come on in. Uh, we will help you out. But let's go ahead and discuss online gaming. Uh, I'm going to ask the panel, uh, and I started with David with the intro, so I'll start with Kyle and then go to Carol and da 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 da. You know how this goes. Uh, so Kyle's on the spot. David gets the break. What is the biggest difference between playing in person and playing online? Excluding the, well, you aren't in the same room. Right. Kyle, what do you think? What, what, is, what do you think the biggest difference is? The biggest difference uh, is the setup. When I go to play with the guys in person, 30 years ago, back before the whole coronavirus. <laughs> I used to be like, eh, screw it, my kid vomited on me. Whatever, I don't care. I'll get my bag, get my dice. I'll walk over there, my flippity flops. 
I don't care if it's six feet of snow and then I'd sit in my chair, be like, should have put deodorant on today, but it sucks for this guy. <laughs> Welcome to the comic store. <laughs> exactly. And here I make sure I'm well lit. I'm mostly decently shaped and I have a nice college shirt because I'm cool like that. You're classy. And green screen. Yeah, which yeah. he's been playing with forever now. No, no, certainly not. Certainly At least not. since uh, almost an hour. Oh, shit, no, I have it off. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <that's laughs> ruined. That, that, uh, that, no, but a lot of it is um, I am certainly more mindful about what every single other player is doing in the game as opposed to if I were in person. If I were in person, I might be turning over to Johnny Boy here and be talking to him. I mean, we do have chat, which is for everybody, or private chat, which, but at that point, it kind of really distracts. I don't pay attention to what happens. That's the bad thing. But <laughs> kind of, <laughs> playing online, you need to be a little bit more mindful about who's talking. You know, when we talk over Carol, it's not accidental, uh, <laughs> like you would believe it to be. I know we seem like such decent folks. But we are aware when we are talking over Carol because you just kind of have to be aware of who one needs to talk at what moment. Very nice. Uh, Carol, what do you think? What is the major difference? I was going to say, hey, and I'm then a... there's the fact that. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm a meme on this now because of the whole talking over me. It's, it's, it's become a joke. So, um, Oh God, the biggest difference. It, it's, it's funny because I feel like my other games where I'm playing with all people I know on Roll20 and Discord feel way even more different than this does. But if you're talking about, you know, we're, we're broadcasting so that other people can watch us um, and being on a camera, um, I think one of the things I find is I am more focused uh, that I guess the more focused at staying on track with the game. If I'm hanging out with my friends, we tend to digress quite a bit because we're friends. We sit there and we socialize and stuff, and we're not playing to an audience. So you know, we're we're and said where we know we've known each other for a long time now, a lot longer than these guys. Although they're my friends now too, but we play to an audience, so we have to kind of stay on point. <laughs> So that's the biggest difference I know between you guys and, like I said, my home games and even even those Discord games. We stay on point. We stay with the story a lot more. Um, we stay immersed. So I think that's the biggest difference I've noticed. Kyle and David, do you ever notice how she always throws out, oh, I've got other games that I play and they're <laughs> different. <laughs> Ooh, I, know. I mean, I have five other games, Carol, but I don't talk about them when I'm with you guys. I'm here for <laughs> well, you. I don't the audience. Well, in my no. other game, uh... Don't you Fuck get you, like, I go to all have other games? I kind of assume that this is not an abnormality. I assume this is the norm. Oh, uh, you know what? I gotta say, our show is an abnormality, and it is a front to humanity as it stands. <laughs> David, what's the uh, uh -huh. biggest difference for you? Uh, it's, it's made gaming more accessible for me, actually, because uh, the people that I game with, Stop it, Kyle. <laughs> yeah, Kyle, stop being a dick. <laughs> That's what the countdown was for, <laughs> folks. <laughs> Wrong image. I send that to my wife. With that present. Folks, uh, the sure audience is on wait. You saw the warning. Keep going, David. You guys anyway. wonder why I don't sit down when I'm on the show. <laughs> that I, I think I have a picture for that. <laughs> oh, God. Go ahead, David. <laughs> what did we just see? No, online gaming has made, uh, or, or streaming has made gaming more accessible to me. Uh, I've played gaming <clears throat> in multiple platforms. Uh, tabletop gaming is relatively new new for me my best friends you know love gaming uh with me so 
Uh, unfortunately, they live three hours away. So in, in that vein, everything is, is great. Um, I used to game locally um, at a comic book store here. But again, that is like another 45 minutes one way to, to get to the comic book store. I mean, and that's not, and that's without traffic. So anyway, uh, it's just made things a, a lot more accessible, uh, you know, as far as like my home home uh, and situation. Uh, I'm a caregiver uh, for, for my parents and uh, yeah, it makes it a whole lot easier. Otherwise, I mean, I wouldn't be gaming as much as I am now. And uh, a friend introduced me to the the murder hope uh, so you know think things have been great i've been gaming more so online gaming has really helped me you know experience gaming more often so. is it because you know not think know that you're above some of our players <laughs> intellectually professionally personality i, I thought we weren't going to talk about that Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I am a personality to be reckoned with. He is. Yeah, he I'll is. give you he, that. He's a force of nature himself. <laughs> so uh, you, all three of you have expressed uh, what's different about it. What do you like the most, excluding uh, the ability to not wear pants and play this game? Start with Carol. Oh, God. I don't not know. wear I... underwear and play this game. Actually, I <laughs> Well, you know what? Meeting these guys, uh, meeting new friends. I uh, say good, good things. Good yeah, things. <laughs> it is a good thing. You, uh, She's meeting, talking about me, guys. It's okay. Meeting David, okay? Meeting David. The rest of them can be <laughs> just jealous because your husband would love me. Uh, no, my <laughs> probably never seen you because God knows he doesn't watch this show. Shame on what? him. What? I know, right? I've what tried. an unsupportive asshole. I, I was thinking more of a cork-sucking bastardo. <laughs> <laughs> Since he doesn't watch the show, we can call him whatever we want. <laughs> no, be nice to him. He is just, he's the best, though. He did play. He was a good guest, so. He had an amazing Scottish accent. He did, didn't he? But, um, I no, more. I think. Uh, can I, I, I was going to answer, but I guess if you don't want my answer, okay. I'm interested in your answer. No, it's seriously, it's being able to game with people from long distances apart and, and meet new people. In this case, I've met quite a few new people through the stream. So I think that has been my favorite, favorite thing about this whole experience. I agree. That, that is a very good point. Uh, David, up to you. Uh, yeah, I agree with Carol. Uh, just meeting new people, uh, you know, especially <laughs> since our game is open and we encourage new players. Uh, I've nice met some. Plug. Good plug. I, I've I've met some great people. I mean, oh my God, gaming with Ashley that was that was <laughs> awesome. That was hilarious. Uh, meeting Caitlin. Caitlin was Caitlin. a lot of fun. She's yeah, she is. Caitlin She's will be crazy. here Thursday with you and my Corona. Sure, and then. Um, you know, just seeing some of the older hobos come back, like Tamlin and, you know, and Big Mike, Big Mike, and, you know, all the people that I started uh, watching the show on earlier episodes. So, you know, that's, that's been a lot of fun, actually being able to meet the people that actually played the game. So I think that's the biggest draw, you know. Weird to think we have fans, huh? <laughs> Who aren't related, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Kyle, what do you think? Huh? <laughs> Kyle? Is he muted? I don't know. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. Uh, right. he's, he's writing there's down a, his thoughts. There's an earthquake over here in the swamp. And, <laughs> yeah. uh, no, again, Carol, David, they really have it on the point. You certainly open up the bounds. I mean, honestly, this is what the internet has done. They have connected nerds and freaks like you people who are watching this show right now together to feel like they're such they're part of something much bigger than they are, and they are in some cases. I mean, I agree. it makes people worse by far, in my opinion, but it also brings people together, which is yeah. And so, I mean, honestly, when I first started gaming, I ended up um, 
waking up at 2 a.m. in the morning wow. to play with a bunch of guys from Australia and New Zealand. Um, it's football, not gridiron, not soccer, whatever. Australian rules. Um, uh, but okay. hands down, the DM over there who ended up being a 17-year-old kid, who I didn't find that out until later, uh, <laughs> blew my fucking mind as far as what I could expect from a game. This was after I met Frank, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> but then there are other groups who are playing with people over in Europe. I think I got to play with one of those people once upon a time. And you run across interesting people from all over who game, who have expectations and bring something unique to the table. <laughs> Scottish accent, um, a cool way to twist your backstory into the campaign, uh, a terrible accent that is big and larger than life. Gubby uh, time. Huh? Gubby time. Abel oh. from Sales Gubby. Off the Rails. Gubby was awesome. Yeah. I wish uh, you'd get back. And it's all these people from different walks of life who, if there was not online, internet and these places where they could join in and play with other people we'd never know a goddamn thing about them or have our own um way of thinking about how we play this game expanded that's really the big thing that you are missing out on if you are not already playing online or if you haven't actually tried now there's dangers to it which might be frank's next question so i won't right. go into it any further it is my um, next question. It is my next question. You want me to just go ahead and lead off? Uh, David, do you mind if he steps in? No, let him step in. Uh, what's the worst Wait, thing? Stay here. You could join a group like this. Buildings <laughs> <laughs> and butt plugs are the normal. <laughs> Where people will murder your character first thing off, or maybe it's a DM who's like, yeah, you have to play, pay in my game, so you got to pay $25 a session. And oh, then they rip you off and they give you stick figures and <laughs> shit like G was crisp or something like that. You know? <laughs> hey, I've never charged you fuckers once. <laughs> I'm not talking about you. Frank. I shrink you says give I away should. Your stuff for free all the time. <laughs> there are GMs who do, though. <clears throat> Yeah, there are. You got to worry about that, and you got to worry about the people who, other than D and D, they have a darker background or something like that, and they're the checklist. It's yeah. That's no right. uh, bingo card, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's a good point, Carol. What do you have, think? Yeah. Oh, I'm think sorry. Go ahead. I was gonna say you're gonna have. Players who are going to murder your characters, demean your characters. You have to be really mindful and watch and kind of learn what you need to pick up on so you can avoid those circumstances. And sometimes the players, other players, aren't as experienced and they will let that stuff happen. So there's also that aspect. And with that point, it's just kind of Know yourself, know what you're comfortable with, and know when to walk away from a situation that is not going to get better and is not enjoyable. Good point. Carol. You know what, though? Uh, basically, I think he covered most of the pitfalls of coming online. I mean, <coughs> but then, I mean, you could say that with any game that you're going to roll into that has strangers. I mean, this happens at conventions, too. Um, you know, you don't know about who you're going to be sitting at that table with. Um, you know, but they, they said, yeah, that basically, I think that basically just covers it. I mean, the other, the other dangers I can, uh, danger I can think of is like, um, internet unreliability or something like that. But, oh, uh, honestly, the, that's just annoying. But, uh, the, you really brought you that, I think that's it really. It's, the real, the bad stuff could be people you just don't know, and yeah, what? Thank what? you very much. See, I was holding. I am. Uh, yeah, I'll raise my hand next time. See, now I'm actually. Well, I've got everyone up on screen, so now I can see them. So. <laughs> oh great! And now I we can't screw. I would not be doing that Damn anymore. It. I wasn't doing that to David. I was counting down for the dildo. 
Anyway, <laughs> uh, like one that. benefit though, I mean, we just said a lot of stuff that can be nerve wracking, scary. You're on the internet. Just shut down the window and exit out. And if they complain and whine, you just say, oh, my internet went bad. And then you delete them so they can no longer talk to you. You got a point? That's that's yeah. true. That's a fair point. That's true. Just to, you know, <laughs> balance out the scary part. I mean, the good part. Then we had the really scary part. And then we had, oh, hey, but you're online. Delete them. The likelihood of them actually finding out where you live is only like 62%. So. Yeah, yeah, Se seventy three is the last I heard because the uh, internet's getting a lot faster. For these I, I keep hoping, <laughs> I keep hoping a hater comes and finds me because I am a very passive individual. Uh, David, you're percent actually now. <laughs> David, you're last, and you're going to be first for the next one. What do you think uh, are the pitfalls of online gaming? Well, one of the pitfalls that I think about uh, <laughs> online gaming is everybody thinks they're going to be an internet star sometimes. And, you We're know, not. that that'll backfire on you. Oh, yeah. You uh, guys are. And that's like turning your back on the ocean. It's, it's not a good idea. And wanting to be internet famous is a, a seriously hazardous pitfall. Um, especially, I mean, look, it's like, why? But you have personalities that have rose out of the ranks uh, just from basic internet streaming. Uh, there, was, uh, there was a DM with a popular show here on Twitch that got blasted, uh, not only by fans, but he caught the ire of Wizards of the Coast. And I don't know how, how he's going to recover from this, but he actually deserved what he got. And I think we all know who we're talking about. Huh? This is the one that happened like what a couple weeks ago? Just a couple weeks ago, yeah. yeah. Adam. Indianapolis. <laughs> so, I still nice. don't know a thing about that. Yeah. Well, basically, I mean, he caught a severe backlash for, from that. So that that's just one of the pitfalls. But um, it's you know you got to go in and you got to realize that things can go south really quick for you i mean we had an incident where we tried to set up uh you know an open game and you know with all the problems with zoom and all that people were sitting there surfing the zoom channels and just coming in and disrupting i mean you know that's a hazard you got to watch out for is the disruptors and basically you have to know when to like frank said oh my internet is down click and you got to have a fail safe. I mean, my name's on it. Kyle, by the way. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, that's Give right. Frank the credit. <laughs> Frank's the seductive Frank. one. Yeah, Kyle's, yeah. Kyle's Kyle. the one that makes Scott drink. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Question number three. Uh, what was your biggest concern about joining the Murder Hobos? David, starting with you. Whether or not you guys would like me, that's the thing. That, you know what? That is a very good point. Uh, because a lot of people have that concern of, eh, what if they don't like me? What was your impression, uh, if you do impressions, uh, preferably of Kyle, uh, on your first experience? I'm, I'm, I'm not that cool to play Kyle, so. <laughs> Just lose okay. your dice and walk away a lot. <laughs> no, no, seriously. <laughs> the 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 murder hobos were rec recommended to me by a third party, uh, somebody who was a longtime fan fan and a friend of Frank's, uh, recommended that I go on, and I was just like, "You're crazy!" It's just like you know, it's you know, it's I've never house man. Yeah, it's just like I barely have any experience getting high. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I watched episodes and I kind of had an idea of what to expect but still like my first episode is just like you know you know i mean i was legitimately nervous because i had never met these people before the we we have a green room before we start and i i hadn't met anybody until then so you know things like it's just like okay do i really suck at this game am i really gonna mess things up and you know but nice to both of those but the thing is <laughs> The thing is, if you want to try this, you know, yeah, we're telling you all the horrors of it and some of the things that we had to deal with, but don't be afraid to try. Um, if it wasn't for my friend encouraging me to come on the show, then, you know, I never would have tried it. But I mean, I had faith in her. She said, look, you'll be a good fit for the show. 
And I, I was worried about that because after my first show, it's just like, oh my God, they'll never ask me to come back. <laughs> so but was it we don't it? ask you to come back. You message us coming back. And we're like, I know, well, we're but like, you know what I mean? You could say, us a ton. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you guys also have the power to say, no, we're good, you know? Yeah, so. They don't seem to understand that, you know, that they have the power to say no and then they blame us so the thing is we say no and then we get 800 emails <laughs> and it gets lost in there and next thing you know they're 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 part of the the main campaign <laughs> <So>. <laughs> carol i'm gonna give i'm gonna go in reverse order and let you get your digs in on these fuckers no, uh, but it's but it's what's your biggest concern about joining us well the biggest concern i have believe it or not before the first session i played in was whether or not my character was going to get freaking gacked in the first five minutes. You can't worry about that. <laughs> no, but that was, but that, that was, that was actually, and then I listened to one of the episodes. I'm like, okay, maybe it won't, you know, the, <laughs> no, I mean, one of the things that helped was my first episode uh, with, with Frank um, was, well, actually you were, you not on it, but you were behind. That's the why side. it was so good. <laughs> That was the mini painting one. So oh, yeah. they talk to you and you're like, yeah, if you, if you ever want to play, you know, you're the one who threw out the invite. My bad. I screwed it up. It's on me. <laughs> he, 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 I'll take that one. Yeah. I don't think he has any regrets, really. Really. Um, There's but a no, list I of regrets that I, to say. that I just keep adding. <laughs> I think, I think actually a lot of what you said there too, again, it's, it's, that happens, I think that's only natural that we want to fit in. And yeah, even I am like, even now it's like, Frank, am I really sending you too many emails? Because if I really am, then I'll stop. I'll check the recycle bin, Carol. And Frank that's where goes, we automatically go now. Don't stop, Carol, <laughs> it's fine. You know, it's also like, that's, that's what I keep hearing. So, you know, I, I plus half the time he emails me first, so. It's all his fault. But yeah, a lot of it was, well, will I fit in with this group of people? And, you know, am I going to, am I, am I a good player? Am I going to be able to play up to their, their standards and such? <laughs> standards. Standards. <laughs> right about here, only lower. Yeah, I realize I'm actually probably, I'm, I was going to say I'm above, nah, I'm probably about, they're, they're great players. Don't let him our say Our gaming standards. <laughs> Don't listen to Frank. He was supposed to just let us talk. And gee, I guess that didn't happen. Well, everybody was piling on and talking over you. I, I needed to get It days. seemed like so much fun. He had to chime in, you know. But so. it, but yeah, I think that's those. No! That's great. <laughs> Kyle, no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Kyle! <laughs> Dan and oh. Kyle are ratings. <laughs> I'll make it better, I promise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is better. No, we try and keep a high standard here. Hold on, let me. Uh, there, is that better? I just turned it around. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Great, great. We got 2,000 new viewers. They all buzz cuts and hate people. That's great. <laughs> channel haters. Oh, my God. <laughs> we, just, we, we just opened up our demographic to, yeah, to, to, to place white we want to go to. guys who are yeah, but, angry. Yeah, but right. this, Free on the incel. <laughs> yeah, next thing you know, we'll be solicited by the NRA. It's just like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, but as soon as they see Frank's tweets, they're all going to run away. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, and a good answer, Carol. Uh, Kyle, uh, you knew most of the players before you started, so it was a little bit different for you. But what did you think of actually jumping online and having the rest of the universe be able to criticize your hairstyle or the way you play? <laughs> 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 uh, uh, to be honest, I was nervous and I went to the bottle and that helped. Me. Uh, don't die on us, Carol. Oh, 
Corona. I, I, not the coronavirus. Folks, I, I think all three have made solid points. And I think the, the underlying theme that I just want to reinforce is uh, we aren't gatekeepers, if you want to no. use jargon. Uh, we don't give a shit about your views or your lifestyle or shit like that. We want you to come in. We want you to have a good time. We want you to play a nice game. But always, and I used to say this a lot more, uh, if we aren't your cup of tea, go find a, find a game a that you enjoy. Other games I mean, going. Yeah. yeah, we, we aren't the only game in town. We want you to have fun because that's what you want. We're going to have our own brand of fun, and if it doesn't match yours, sorry, uh, good luck. I, I, we really all do hope that you find the game that you like. Uh, now, if you guys, and this is the final question because of time, you guys are going to give out one piece of advice to somebody who's watching us and saying, hey, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm still not sure. <laughs> We invade freedom of the vent. <laughs> All right, I, honestly, the Hitler was the best I was going to get. <laughs> you see, these are the pitfalls of streaming, folks. Remember that Pitfall. shit about Carol was saying about focus? Yeah, bullshit. You know, you know all those Zoom hacks and all that. <laughs> yeah, we're getting hacked right now. We're just jerks. <laughs> Uh, so, so if Sorry, I forgot to shave my head tonight, guys. <laughs> if, if I'm out Uh-oh, there, we'll see you next time. And so I'm paying attention to everything but Kyle's Hitler. Uh, what, uh, what? Aside from go ahead and give it a shot, give somebody who's considering it uh, one piece of advice. Kyle, start with you, and then go to David, and then Carol. <clears throat> Jump in, both feet, go for it. They will accept you or they won't. Uh, eventually, you'll find a group that you'll have fun with <coughs> and who you'll be allowed to post pictures of Hitler in front of. <laughs> oh, and yeah, no one will be like, yes, cut his feed. They'll be like, ah, oh, it's Kyle. Uh, hi, the the uh, archive's going to be about 20 minutes on this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, just jump in, have fun with it. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, be cautious, but not too cautious. Right. Uh, the internet is is fire. It can warm you and fill your belly, or it could light you and end you in the most painful, excruciating way. Yep. Just be careful. David? Like the coronavirus. You Wash can go out out. there and <laughs> not wear a mask as long as you stay at least six feet away from people and you don't make out with them, you'll be fine. <laughs> Kiss all the babies, shake all the hands, though. It's only respectful. Sure. <laughs> Kyle, 2020. That's it. <laughs> David, good uh, piece of advice for him. Good piece of advice. Don't be afraid to do it. Um, you know, don't um, just, you know, be careful in choosing the group that you want to try this with at first. You know, you know. I'm selling this. <laughs> yeah. No, no, seriously. Best bit of advice, you want to join a game, look at their archives, look at their past episodes, and you'll get a better idea of what you're about to get into. And, you know, just make your decision, you know, based on that. So uh, look at old Twitter feeds and stuff like that for the group. You know, you'll, you'll, you'll get a better picture of what you're getting into. Good answer. Carol? uh but you know what yeah just do it uh you know if it's like can't a, say that carol <laughs> if it's, a, if it's a, like this there are episodes you'll be able to watch you know Boots, <laughs> <Doge. laughs> actually that's a scene from jojo rabbit so yeah don't don't worry about it so oh, kyle. just me and my uh weekend with hitler you know <laughs> So yeah, I'd say watch some if it's a group like this where you can where you can join and there are episodes out there that you can review. By all means, <clears throat> check out the episodes and see if you think it's the type of game you'd like to you know you like to jump into. <laughs> um, but yeah, this I was nervous. I, I will admit I was nervous for about <clears throat> five minutes of me GMing this weekend because I had never GMed in front of an audience before. 
<clears throat> so I have I've jammed cons and stuff, but never in front of an audience. But I got over it. I got over it in about five minutes. And as, with these knuckleheads, they put you pretty much at ease. And and I mean, it, they really get into their characters. And they I know the people on the show tend to really get into the characters and to me, help the GM along. And I think it, uh, it does make it easier to get rid of your nerves. So <clears throat> keep in mind, it's only natural if you're nervous, but it shouldn't last. And after a while, you just feel like you're playing a game with your friends. Or like in my case, I, because I go to a number of conventions, I feel like I'm, a, I'm at a convention playing with a bunch of people that I met. So, and a lot of campaigns that she has. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot at home, but I mean, a lot of this, I do a lot of conventions too. So where I will, some people, there are people I see regularly, but there are quite a few people that I'll meet there. What are you doing, Kyle? <laughs> I just, Sorry, Jax. Right now I'm imagining someone well, watched this and was like, you know what? I am going to try online gaming. And then they join a group and they also have Hitlers all around behind them. I was like, oh, they must be fans of the show too. They, Hey, hey, Kyle. No, no. <laughs> no, really not. not. And then there are Toyota blows Wait, out. <laughs> right now that says you look a bit unhinged. <laughs> You're the 14 as a cut to you. No. No, I'm fine. Don't worry, guys. I explained to him that you were like that before we were all like that before the pandemic. So hey, so, Kyle. Is Twitch gonna let to look us up pictures of Hitler as I did? He's also, oh, actually, he, he or she, I think it's a he. He also made the suggestion, and sorry if I assumed, uh, he also made the suggestion, we need a disappointed, like, we need a picture of yourself looking at yourself disappointed. You know? Me looking at myself disappointed? That's, that's, that's every day. We, we want to see what your wife sees. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, I can so show you the bruises, but uh, she doesn't really have a look. <laughs> oh, a I've seen her on this show. Yes. She has a look. <laughs> uh, uh, no, Carol. Uh, I see you read chat there. Um, no, yeah. I didn't read chat. I can't read chat for some odd reason. It doesn't like Well, you wrote no. Yeah, yeah, no. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what anyone said previous to when I just joined them. Twitch, <laughs> I don't know uh, how to look at yeah, Twitch isn't going to be mad about Hitler. Uh, Fox News will be mad because they do. <laughs> but I love Fox yeah. News. Are they going to interview me? <laughs> <laughs> yes, they're going to interview they are you now. <laughs> for, for the secretary position. Woo! Uh, folks, all three of them have made great points. Uh, it's okay to be scared. You're going to be scared. You're going to be nervous. It yeah. does end rather quickly. Now, if you are self-conscious, uh, there are it's the Be internet. like Hitler and then <laughs> take over the country and take charge of everything. You'll be great. <laughs> I promise you it's going to happen. Uh, but yeah, honestly, uh, now remember the internet can be just filled with bigger jackasses than us. So sometimes every once in a while we'll get a comment, you know, uh, this person's stupid, blah, blah, blah. I don't like watching this. You guys suck, whatever. <laughs> don't take that to heart. Uh, as most of us do, uh, we turn that rage inside out. We go ahead and trace your IP. Then we start mailing you shit from Ford, uh, <laughs> Toyota, and Kia for all those offers. So if you want to be pissed about your mailbox being full, it's right here. Fuck you. I like this hair, and my seduction skills are awesome. Uh, but you know what? Take the chance. Uh, we all did it. None of us regret it. Uh, except um, Hitler did not agree to appear on this show. Uh, I think the three here. people on this show, other than me, really regret it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly your wife, who may or may not be watching. <laughs> I think she fell asleep a while ago. Like, <laughs> Thank goodness for She's that. gone. <laughs> yeah, uh, but honestly, uh, it, it's fun. It really is. Let's go. Final thoughts. David, start us off. Uh, final thoughts. Uh, yeah keep watching the show if if you're watching us please keep watching us uh we've had some great episodes this past week uh hopefully awesome. our advice and insight on to online gaming uh kind of kind of you know steeled your resolve and you know let you 
you know, motivates you to try it. So that's my final thought. Motivating David to DM. <laughs> Kyle, final thoughts. <laughs> I got a girlfriend that wants me to DM for her first, and she says if I DM for you guys first, he, yeah, I can forget about Pictures us. Pictures are not real. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> who, who is next? Me? Yeah, you. Sure, sure, go ahead. You can do final thoughts. Anyone notice I'm the middle child here? Um, no, I, I'll say yeah. I'll say it again. Uh, jump in. I mean, this this has been a ton of fun, and actually, I I like this. I like this better than the said uh, the Roll Twenty Discord version i like being able to see faces um hitler, and, she's a big hitler fan <laughs> shut up i am not that's why i'm laughing so hard at him because i'm more a fan of his early work but he didn't do bad when taking over germany <laughs> honestly if i could go back and so say yeah i would murder hobo him if i had the chance but um that's oh. a digress no, come and join. Come and join us. Join us and come and play with us. You know, the more the merrier. And then maybe we could get Frank to, you know, run every mm. night. <laughs> See how crazy. Frank's he is. an old man. He's tired. Oh please, you're not that much older than me. I'm 72. You're only 71. Oh please. <laughs> you're like in your what? Don't, don't worry, folks. The camera puts about 118 years on you. <laughs> oh, I'm actually man. 18. I'm graduating high school this spring. Yes. Uh, Kyle, final thoughts. Final thoughts. Do I, Kyle, have any final thoughts? There it comes. There it comes. I am <laughs> certainly not downloading another picture of Hitler to put on here <laughs> while I slowly digress. <laughs> that is not what oh, I am Lord. doing. <laughs> That's Just remember, as you play, if you want to join the murder hobo things, <laughs> fill out this form, send it to Frank. It's his favorite form yet. This is the DD consent checklist. <laughs> Make up your own D gaming is as you want it to be. And Frank will happily oblige you in all aspects. <laughs> he Pelosi did. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Play the game and have fun. That's our only rule. Uh, we like to talk over Carol because she's like our little sister and it's fun to just screw with her. Uh, folks, uh, I hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, we, had, we obviously had a real good time with it, even with Hitler uh, making a cameo. Uh, but seriously, all three of these guys have told you, I'll tell you, we're all nervous when we start. It's not that big a deal. Uh, it can be scary uh, trying to game with people you've never met in your life. Not a big deal. We do a half hour green room. We'll go ahead and easy into this. All you need is a camera and a headset or a microphone. Uh, we keep it low key. If you want to green screen it and put Hitler on behind you, that's fine too. Uh, you know, don't put Michael the Archangel or, you know, the Last Supper or any of that on there. Put Hitler up there because that always makes a good impression. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you'd like to purchase some cool stuff, go ahead. No pressure. If you want to join us on chat, hit us up on the uh, M Hobo Inc. Discord. Uh, no game tomorrow. It's the producer's birthday. Thursday, we're having a game. Saturday, we're having a one shot. Saturday is still open. So if you want to get your feet wet, you want to give it a shot, let us know. Uh, I haven't determined what we're going to do, <clears throat> but it'll be fun. Uh, folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Week, we appreciate it. We'll see you in two days. Everybody, give them a big wave and remind them to wash their hands. Why do you wash your hands? Washing your hands. Wash your hands, Kyle. It's not. <laughs>